All right, I'm going to kind of try to help you a little bit with identifying elements in Dreamweaver so we can try to modify things. And I'm going to go ahead here, and I've got such a small window, all my tabs are running into each other. But I'm going to open up my web page in Chrome, and I've got it in here, and I've got some of my colors changed, and, and things have updated for the most part. Um, but here and here and there, there are issues, and um, some ones that I've really struggled with here. This blue, these blue don't want to go away um, in a couple of places. There's also this dark blue. Um, so you know, one class period I worked on an orange, and now it seems like it's it's yet another color that I've got to mess with. So I wanted to show you how it might be a little easier to try instead of using Dreamweaver to identify colors, to try to use Google Chrome. So. For example, if you right click in this blue area, there's inspect. And you can use inspect element to try to help you locate what element certain things are in. So for instance, I uh, click this one and then it says here that this is this section. And if I scroll down here, I can kind of filter and see where all the pieces are. So here I can find that blue and I'm going to click on it and it tells me, you know, where that's coming from. Um, and I can click on it and it highlights it over here. So this is coming from something called element style and then there's the background color and there's the color code. Now remember these won't all necessarily be hex codes. Um, sometimes they'll be RGB color codes. Then of course I can go into Dreamweaver and go to find and replace and attempt to find that in there. And remember you'll want to find it in the current site not just the current document so it'll search all the pages. So you can see on here, it only found it in one place, section, class, content, style, background, color. So that probably is the right place for that. And then I can change that to one of my um, purple colors, or I could just choose one as well. So that's one way to go about doing this, because I know these get really frustrating trying to locate all the little bitty pieces. Um, the hover ones are a little bit more complicated, but... Um, we'll still try to get there. So let me go ahead and replace this one. I'll just replace all, even though there's only one, and yes. Now if it has to open up a CSS page, uh, generally speaking, it would open up the page and you'd have to hit save. This one, the file was actually an inline class on the HTML page. It wasn't even in the uh, CSS code. So I'm just going to save all. Now, whether or not that updates or not, who knows. So I'm going to connect and just update my, my uh, index page. Say no here. Yes. Yes to all. All right. And then we'll see if that actually updates or not. Because you know how it is. Okay. And so this time, that's a terrible color for that. But so this time that one did update. So we're getting somewhere. Um, then I've got these blue buttons. So I'm going to right click and inspect the blue button element. It'll tell you it's BTN, BTN info, and it, it highlights this one. And then I can come down here and try to locate those. Now, what I noticed on this one is that I do see some like variations of blue, but none of them look like they're that color. So not really sure exactly where that's coming from. Now I noticed when I started messing with these earlier that there was a blue hanging out down here in one of these other areas, which is odd because um, when I search for this one, I don't seem to be able to find it in Dreamweaver. Um, but we'll see what happens. See, that one doesn't show at all. So. Not quite sure exactly where some of these are coming from, and it does require just a lot of patience digging through the code. Now, it is possible that on these RGB colors, that when you click on them, they appear differently. So you can see this one. When I clicked on it, then it does come down here, and the color isn't the same. It's here's one color, and here's another color. So, um, something to think about is is make, making sure you expand those. So. Let's see what happens here. Now this is a left color, and that means there's probably right color, and top color, and who knows what. So I'm going to copy this code into Dreamweaver and cross my fingers and tap my heels because it doesn't sh find anything. This one hasn't found anything the whole time. Um, but again, process of elimination here until we can find what it is. And if you can go into the bootstrap, occasionally then you can locate it. So now... I clicked on it, and in the bootstrap min, I can see that button info is here. So these colors don't even match the previous colors, and I don't know who these people are that decided to have 
all these millions of different shades of blue. Look at that. One, two, three, four. None of these are the same shade of blue. But now I have located some more blues. So then I can go back in here and attempt to find all of these blues, which I would then replace with another blue of some sort. So here it is in just two places. Um, not blue. I need to replace it with a, a dark a purple. So I'll uh, pop that in there and replace all. And, and then you just keep on keeping on, folks. I wish there was like a fast way. Some of these, I would swear to you, I've tried a million times, and they just still don't show up for whatever reason. Like, there's that one. That one's not even in there anymore, so it shouldn't work. Um, but you just keep on keeping on. Keep trying your color codes until you find it. Here's one. I'm going to replace all of those. Here's another one. And we'll see what we get. Just one of those. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save all of this. And you can see here that this Bootstrap um, file was updated. So there used to be like a get put on here, and there's not one now. Now, let's see here it is. So I'll try to put that one. Say no. Say no. So that should update that Bootstrap. And then we'll come in here and try again and see if that helps any of this situation. Probably not, because, you know, that's the way it goes. Now, as I told some of you in class, one of our issues, I think, a lot of times with Google is that um, Chrome doesn't release the cache. Caches, when you visit a website, it kind of keeps the images, the copy of the images on your computer. I did find a Chrome plugin called Clear Cache, um, and it does seem to help. So, apparently, I made my purples the same color. Um, but Clear Cache sometimes will be helpful, and there we go. That did do it. So now I'm not seeing those blue anymore. So this is a Google plugin called Clear Cache. It's a Chrome Store plugin, so you can go to the Chrome Web Store to grab it. Um, Clear Cache Chrome Store is probably your easiest way to get to it. And then there it is. And you can plug that in there. And um, I did change one of the settings to it um, up here. So you right-click it, and I went to Options, and I told it to automatically reload the tab after it clears the cache. So that may be helpful to you when you're doing these projects. Now what would not, what, what's going to be a big pain to me right now is that if I don't want these to be that color purple, good luck, you know, for me trying to figure out which one that's going to be. It might be that I just need to override that in those tags where that says learn more. Um, go straight up into that tag and just do a, an override. So locate my, um, let's get this out of the way so I'm going to get this out of the way. So many things. Go to live view. All right, let's find the learn more buttons here. So here they are, and this looks like it's coming from button and button info. So let's just go ahead and take a look here. Let's go to the code. Oh, it's got so many codes. Um, let's see. There's the button one. Um, button default color. And we've got grays. So not finding it very easily here, which means, of course, I don't need you to sit here and look forever trying to find these as well, but are watching me find them. Um, but we could just override this completely. So I could find this learn more button um, in my coding. So I'm going to go switch back to my, my source code here where it says learn more. And then I could just do a style and do an override. If you get, you know, worst case scenario, just, you know, do it. Style it or whatever you need. Background color. I'm just going to put red right now just to see if this works but you can see so you can always override with an inline style it's not a great idea to do that very often but if you get in a situation where you absolutely have to override something um, that's how you do it because that always wins if there's multiple things then that style is always going to take over for anything else that's in there otherwise of course I could try to hunt through here even more and try to figure out where these are coming from. So here's a class called group. I could go try to locate that one as well. Um, and you know the drill there for that. So anyway, I hope this helps a little bit um, trying to locate where all these things are. Um, hopefully using the inspect element will be helpful to you. I really found this to be helpful when I was trying to work earlier. Um, and then that clearing of the cache. So try that out for size, kiddos. Good luck.